on those states. In no particular order, uh, you, you know, you just come up, introduce yourself, give us a brief bio data of yourself, and then uh, answer a few questions from distinguished senators. Distinguished Senator Barao Jibrin, the leader of the the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, the Jagaba of our Kingdom, Borgu, for considering me worthy of nomination as a Minister of the Federal Republic, that I will never underestimate this trust placed in me for this role. Permit me to also extend my gratitude and thanks to the Governor of Kwara State, His Excellency Malam Abdurrahman Abdul Razak, the Chairman of the Nigerian Governors Forum, the architect of modern day choir state, who is unavoidably absent today. He was here yesterday, but um, the session could not hold. I thank him greatly for giving me a platform that has made me visible and eligible for being considered for a greater responsibility. Allow me to extend my special acknowledgement to my parents, because today marks a proud and historic moment for my family and my community. Through mentorship provided by my parents, I have gathered the wealth of wisdom, experience, and humility, as well as tapped into the wellspring of innovation and vitality inherent in the younger generation. Because I carry with me the essence of my roots, and whilst not forgetting where I come from, I believe that this experience will inform my decision and my work for the youth of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I wish to extend my heartfelt appreciation because they say it takes a village to raise a child, particularly a girl child. To, I would like to extend my heartfelt appreciation to all the esteemed world wishes who have graced this occasion with their presence. Your unwavering support has been instrumental in shaping my journey thus far, and I am deeply grateful for your significant contributions. From the depth of my heart, I wish to express my profound gratitude to the youth of Nigeria, the broader African continent, the international community, for the overwhelming support they have shown me since my nomination was announced. Distinguished Senators, I come before this hallowed chamber today with the deepest sense of humility and an unwavering commitment to the prosperous future of our cherished nation, Nigeria. I come to you not merely as a qualified nominee, but as an individual who has devoted her life to the advancement of youth development. My journey has been driven by an unwavering belief in the potential of our youth, leading me to achieve several noteworthy milestones. Today, I have been given the chance of a lifetime to contribute my quota to nation building. In a government that has given unprecedented priority, not just to our country's youth, but has also given young women like myself a seat at the decision-making table. My name is Dr. Jamila Bio Ibrahim. I am from Gure Town, a rural Western Borugu community in Baratene local government area of Kwara State. I was born on February 7, 1986. I believe that my education, my upbringing, and my career have prepared me for the task ahead. My reception and primary school education was at Nepal Senior Staff School in New Busa, Borugu local government area of Kwara State from 1991 to 1996, during which I earned my first school living certificate. From 1996 to 2002, I attended Federal Government Girls College Bari Abuja, where I obtained my secondary school living certificate. I pursued my higher education at the University of Illoring, where I studied medicine and surgery, and I graduated in year 2010 with a bachelor's degree in medicine and surgery. Following my academic pursuit, I fulfilled my mandatory one-year National Youth Service Corps requirement in 2011, and um, serving at the National Assembly Clinic during my youth service year afforded me firsthand the privilege to experience how committed and hardworking the senators and the members of the House of Representatives are towards nation building. It was my first point of contact with politics in a work environment, and that has inspired me greatly to dream. I am a member of the Nigerian Medical Association, the Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria, the West Africa Youth Assembly, WIA, 
and the Progressive Young Women Forum, which I serve as the president. To further my studies in 2017, I obtained a certificate from the University of Washington in health management and leadership. In year 2021, I also attended the advanced leadership program of the Gottney Leadership Center. My professional odyssey commenced in the field of medicine where I dedicated my formative years to the healing of the ill. Yet, as a young Nigerian medical doctor, disheartened by the alien state of our healthcare system, and the plight of healthcare workers as it concerns their welfare, I recognized that to make a meaningful impact, I needed a voice at the decision-making table. And that could influence millions of lives rather than confining myself to individual consultations between the four walls of a clinic. Consequently, I resolved to pursue a career in development, but faced with a choice between seeking greener pastures abroad or JAPA as we call it, or re remaining in my beloved homeland, Nigeria, to become part of the solution. I wholeheartedly chose the latter. Having firmly resolved to be a catalyst for change, I embarked on my journey in the field of development. In order to build a robust portfolio in this sphere, I engaged in voluntary, works and, in voluntary work and for various charitable human and humanitarian causes. This endeavor led me to the far reaches of Northeast Nigeria, Meduguri in Borno State to be precise, where I served as a volunteer on the platform of the, of the Presidential Committee on the Northeast Initiative, PCNI. Additionally, I actively participated in the 2019 campaign and general election of His Excellency, Governor of Kwara State, who, much like our esteemed president, possesses an unwavering eye for talent and faith in the potential of young people. My governor, impressed by the dedication and contributions I made during the campaign and election in 2019, he entrusted me with increased responsibilities by appointing me as Senior Special Assistant on Health and later as Senior Special, Special Assistant on Sustainable Development Goals. He charged me further by appointing me as a state focal person for African Union Development Agency, NEPAD, and a state focal person for the National Human Capital Development Program, a pivotal component of the Economic Recovery and Growth Plan, ERGP, spanning from year 2017 to year 2020. Okay. And um, so be as brief as possible. Thank you for your resume. Yes. Uh, Dr. Mrs. Ibrahim Jamala Jumai, for being considered worthy for this position by the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, while a lot of things that are very thrilling about this nominee, and that's why I decided to speak first. Coincidentally, she was born the year I graduated from the university. And secondly, the primary school she attended in uh, New Busa was the same primary school that my first son attended. <laughs> Sir, we have to thank Mr. President <laughs> for gradually bringing in youth of very quality background. People that were running away from Nigeria have been encouraged to stay in Nigeria as a part of a solution. This is very encouraging. We have seen a lot of women, not just women, women of quality materials, doctors, engineers, lawyers, fine. The academicians that are running away from politics have been brought in now. And this is a good sign for the prospects a progress of this country. In line of this, Mr. President, 
I don't have any question. And I don't think we should ask this yes. nominee question. Yes. Than to appreciate Mr. President yes. and to congratulate her and wish her success as a representative of Nigerian youth since just 37. And reading through her CV, this is not the first appointment, maybe higher appointments. She has served in some other lower pedestals. If she didn't do well there, they would not consider her for higher posts. So I'm proposing that we allow her to take a bow honorably, to take a leave of the Senate in honor of Nigerian youth as so submit. Uh, distinguished colleagues, uh, I'm hearing the commendation from the minorities, uh, former minorities, because the Senate is one, so there is no minority in the Senate. But hearing from uh, the leaders on the other side of the aisle, commending Mr. President for inclusion of youths in governance and encouraging the very educated young Nigerians with brains to stay back. I doubt if my brothers on the other majority side of the aisle will have any objection to the proposition. In that case, in that case, I want to ask uh, distinguished Senator Sadiq as a father from Kuala said to wrap it up. We want to thank Mr. President for identifying our own as worthy out of millions of youth in this country, competent youth, courageous and creative. Our own has been given the privilege to go and lead them in this ministry. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Uh, let, let me just say that the nominee, you've heard her clearly. You've seen what she has to tell us, what she has been up to. Her CV is very, very clear from primary school, secondary school to university. No commas, no K, all is excellent, all true. <laughs> Mr. President, I can assure you, the kingdom she came from, she's a daughter of Borugu Kingdom, which Jagaban, the president of Nigeria, is part of our kingdom. Our kingdom is a courageous, brilliant, hardworking kingdom made of people. This is one of our products, be rest assured, she will go and make not just the Senate, but the Nigerian youth proud. So let us ask her to take a bow and go and let's go and start our work immediately. Yeah. Mr. Sadiq, thank God that you did not spoil everything. <laughs> because while we are very excited to have youths in governance, uh, you were about to go into too much of the resume and bow data. Uh, my, my dear uh, nominee, I. The, the, it is a wish of the Senate that you just say a word on what you want to bring to bear. And, uh, for, and then how you want to uh, play a role and become a role model for other Nigerian youths. How you want to use this position as a, as a minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to inspire other youths in Nigeria to know that yes, there is hope for this country and that uh, there is no need for them to take their talents elsewhere, to go and build other economies. And thereafter, you can take a bow. It's on. Yes. Thank you very much, Mr. President, Mr. Senate President, sir. Um, and um, I want to appreciate you for giving me the opportunity to speak. Because I come in here, I thought that um, asking me to just take a bow and go and not saying anything would be a great disservice to the Nigerian youth. Yes, thank you very much for the opportunity, sir. Well, we're, we're aware of um, the challenges that Nigerian youth are faced with. Underemployment, unemployment, yes. And um, of course, um, poor access to health access to affordable and quality health care, poor access to quality education, and of course um, we are deprived of skills that will make us um, 
keep up with the current realities of the job market. So in my capacity as the Honorable, as a Minister of Youth Development of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, I, my, my role, if confirmed, if confirmed, Mr. President, thank you, sir. If confirmed as the Minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to pilot the affairs of the Youth Ministry, my, my, in, my, my, my first and most important role would be to inspire young people. I hope to inspire young, young Nigerians. And um, I would like to quote what leadership means. Um, it's, quoted as, it's a quote by John Maxwell, one of my favorite authors. He said, being a great leader is all about having a genuine will willingness and a true commitment to leading others to achieve a common vision and goal through positive influence. So I hope to use my office to positively influence Nigerian youth to, be, to have a voice at the decision-making table. And when, we, when we're designing our youth development plan, we hope to bring young people to the table so we can have um, an all-inclusive plan that, that um, profiles a bottom-up approach in order for young Nigerians to take ownership of the youth development plan and its implementation. And we hope that this plan surpasses the administration of His Excellency President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Thank you very much. And that you will be a, a major inspiration, not just to the youth of the country, but also to the uh, female gender. I have many female children, and I look forward to seeing one of them stand like you in future. Please take a bow. Next.